Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to do the Draw My Life video and I kind of left out a few parts, kind of like the parts where I get animals as I grow up, but that's okay. Um, I hope you guys still find this video interesting and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in my next video. It all started in upstate New York. It was a beautiful morning, actually I think it was night, but a beautiful night. I was born on June 12th, 1996, so I'm 20 years old. My parents named me Chelsea Elizabeth Walls. Here I am drawing my family. I have my mom, my dad, and then my older sister, Jerrica. She's three years older than me. My mom's name's Lisa, my dad's name's Eric, and my sister's name is Jerrica. I grew up in a two-story blue house with my family, my mom, my dad, and my sister. And growing up, I had three dogs and two cats. I never had less than five animals at a time. Here I am trying to draw my animals, which was a failed attempt. They don't even have faces, but I had a mini pin named Zep a Pomeranian named Tracy, a Bloodhound named Bud, and I had two black cats, Simon and Gonzo. Growing up, my sister and I would always spend time laying on the heater with like a blanket and we would play Mario on the Super Nintendo. Basically, this is all we did growing up. Another thing my sister and I spent a lot of time doing was hanging out with my neighbors. Growing up, I had neighbors right across the street, Alicia and Andrea, and even to this day, we are all really close still. Alicia, Andrea, and my sister and I, we like to spend a lot of time in their pool. We, we always were in their pool. We were like little fishes. And then a lot of the time, Andrea and I would play Barbie dolls. This is basically all we did all summer long. We would just play Barbies. And I remember one time I asked her to play with me because she's a few years older than me. I asked her to play with me in front of her friends and she's like, I don't play Barbies. What are you talking about? And I remember I was so upset. Uh, another thing we like to do is we like to paint rocks, which was super weird, but we would just find rocks in the road and then just paint them. Once school started, I began the, I began by taking the bus, obviously. I don't really remember very much about school, but I remember in first grade I met my very first best friend, Regina. And it's funny because she texted me and she's like, I better be in your Draw My Life video. So here you are, Jean. And I tried to draw like the braid you always had. I remember you always had this really cool braid that I loved. But I remember instantly we were like best friends and we always tried to copy everything each other did. And I remember vividly that we'd always try to like one up each other on like losing teeth so whenever I'd have a loose tooth I'd be like hey my tooth is loose and then you'd be like mine too even if yours wasn't you would make sure it was loose and our teacher Mrs. Town which to this day is a big part of my life she would always call us she would always say monkey see monkey do because we'd always be copying each other and here I tried to draw a monkey but it looked more like a pig <laughs> so ignore that but moving on to third grade I I remember I got glasses and I remember I was so scared to go to school because I thought everyone was going to make fun of me, but actually everyone loved them and was like, ooh, I love them, I want to try them on. So that made me feel better. Going on to fourth grade, I got my tonsils out this year. I remember I was always getting sick, like once a month I would get strep throat. And finally I decided to get my tonsils out and I never have had strep throat since then. In fifth and sixth grade, I decided to join the turkey trot, which is just like this really long like run you did, and I did it every single year, and every single year I won third place, and I won a few trophies, which was really cool. Once I joined high school, it was kind of like the hardest time for me. I was a skinny girl, I had braces and glasses. Basically, this was like the upper phase of my life. I also had humongous ears. I remember I would always wear my hair up for school, and I, I never had a problem with my ears until one day when someone pointed out, and they're like, you look like Dumbo. 
And ever since that day, I've just been insecure about my ears. Also, growing up in high school, I kind of had a lot of friend issues. I kind of had trouble fitting in. And I just had, like, trouble fi kind of finding the right friends and, like, the true friends. So I was always, like, alone most of the time. Once ninth grade came around, I joined the soccer team and I played all throughout high school and I also tried softball one year but I like never could hit the baseball when it came up to my turn. So I decided soccer was my passion. I also tried out for the drama club but decided that was not my thing either. In 2011 I was hospitalized for a week and I was actually diagnosed with Crohn's disease. So I had to stay in the hospital for a week. And following up with that, I had to go to the hospital every eight weeks to get an infusion, which was my medicine for the, med for the Crohn's. And then, this is around the same time, 2011, I remember just laying in bed one night and I discovered my first beauty video on YouTube and I actually wanted to start making my own YouTube video and I actually really, I tried a couple times but I just failed and never uploaded a video. Once the 11th grade came around, I finally got my first car, I had my license. And I had my first car for about a week, and then I crashed it. And I have a video on that if you want to know the story. Also in 11th grade, I had the opportunity to join this program, which I decided either I was going to do cosmetology, or if I was going to do medical assisting. I ended up choosing medical assisting, just because it was more of my passion, and I really enjoyed this. So 11th to 12th grade, I did that program. And senior year, I won prom queen, which is like the best day of my life. I was so excited because I've always wanted to be prom queen for some reason. I graduated and I had my diploma, and then I had a certificate to be a medical assistant. So then I decided to go off to college, and I decided to go to a community college just because I wasn't sure what I wanted to do yet, and it was just cheaper. And I remember I had a talk with my advisor, and we were talking about how she was struggling with school, and I didn't know what I wanted to do. And she's like, you know, you really go to makeup. Like, have you ever thought about doing cosmetology school? And I was like, you know what, maybe I will. So, I looked into that, and that's what I did. I looked up a school, Paul Mitchell, it was like 40 minutes from my house. I applied, and I was accepted, so I was going there the following school year. During around the same time, it was Christmas. One Christmas, my beautiful niece was born, the best day of my life. She is like, the best thing to ever happen to me. Her name is Lillian, and she is just the sweetest thing ever. So once I went to school at Paul Mitchell, I kind of had some tough times, like I didn't really, like I felt really confused and wasn't sure if this is what I wanted to do. So during this time I was kind of inspired to do YouTube. And also during this time I moved out of my parents' house, so I moved out on my own. So that was kind of like a big step for me. So once I finished school, I shortly after I got my cosmetology license and then I got my first job in a salon and I still was not happy with my ears. I was still self-conscious about it 10 years later. So I decided to get my ears pinned back, so I had to unfortunately quit my job at the salon, so I had time to recover from that. So shortly after I recovered, I got another job at a different salon. Shortly after I started my new job, I was hospitalized again because I think just the stress from everything and all the big changes, I just kind of just got run down so I was hospitalized again for my Crohn's and during this time I kind of realized that like hair just wasn't my thing it wasn't what I wanted to do it stressed me out so I decided that I'm just gonna focus on makeup which is something I really love to do January 29 2017 was when me and my boyfriend started dating this is my boyfriend Michael he's a lot cuter than the drawline I promise here I'm emphasize him where I gave him two different colored eyes because he has two different colored brown eyes. Now here I am. I'm kind of just confused, not sure what exactly my next step is, what I'm going to do career-wise, but I know that I will get through it with the love and support from my family and friends, and they will support me every step of the way and lead me to finding a passion that I love. So I'm just going to focus on YouTube and just focus on making myself happy. Thank you.